hello viewers welcome back uh, as in previous lecture we have discussed about the tectonics of pakistan and uh, that was the kohad and potwar region and we have uh, discussed in detail and now uh, i am going to teach you the there is a tectonics of uh, sawat and hazara region and as you know that uh, it is the second part of the subject geology of pakistan and that was tectonics of pakistan so now today our topic is tectonics of sawat and hazara region and remember that uh, there are uh, gt road and which is the margin between margala and kala chitta and uh, you know that margala hills are in the islamabad area so there are gt road which is the margin between margala and kala chitta and there are uh, jhelum fault uh, in in the tectonics area and jhelum fault uh, is called the balakot shear zone and uh, south of the panjal area there are hazara formation and uh, the south of panjal the hazara formation and the age of the hazara formation is precambrian and north of the panjal area there are tanol formation the age of the tanol formation is precambrian and the lithology is metamorphosed there are pilite which is the metamorphic rock and also there are semites which is also the uh, metamorphic rocks so the pilite and semites are there in tanol formation and these both are the metamorphic rocks after tanol formation there are abatabad formation and on on the base of the uh, abatabad formation uh, there are tanakai boulder bed and which is sedimentary so remember that the uh, tanol formation the internal formation there are uh, metamorphic rocks and on the base of the abatabad formation uh, there are uh, tanakai boulder beds and tanakai boulder beds are the sedimentary rocks and these are not metamorphic rocks and the most important points uh, which are according to the tectonics of sawat and hazara region in pakistan there are six tectonic deformations or episodes so remember students in sawat and hazara region there are six tectonic deformations or episodes number 1 is hazara orogeny and the age of the hazara orogeny is late precambrian and after hazara orogeny there are another tectonic deformation or episode which is near rawalpindi area or in the hill hill ranges of the rawalpindi area and the age of the rawalpindi area or the hills which are near the rawalpindi area or the age of the tectonic deformation near rawalpindi is uh, permo-triassic and after uh, this tectonic deformation near rawalpindi area there are lokhart limestone which is the example of the uh, another tectonic deformation and the age of the uh, lokhart limestone is a late cretaceous we have discussed the three tectonic deformations number 1 is hazara orogeny number 2 is near rawalpindi area and number 3 is lokhart limestone number 4 is that past miocene tectonic deformation and there are in miocene rocks these uh, the lithology of the rocks are metamorphic metamorphic rocks so in the past miocene tectonic deformation in uh, sawat and hazara region is miocene age rocks are metamorphic rocks or we can say that the lithology is metamorphosed as you know that as a geologist there are three types of rocks igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks so the lithology of the past miocene tectonic deformation in sawat and hazara region is metamorphic after this tectonic episode the another or fifth tectonic episode is called pre pliocene and the pre pliocene uh, tectonic deformation is uh, near the uh, murray area and the example of this tectonic episode is Uh, thrusting along the murray fault uh, near rawalpindi or near murray area which is called murray fault so the example of the tectonic deformation is thrusting along the murray fault after that another uh, tectonic deformation 
which is called uh, Pliocene episode and uh, the example of the Pliocene episode is uplifting along the hill ranges like Indus river and Kabul river is blocked by these ranges or by these uplifted hills. So viewers and students it's all about the tectonics of Sawat and Hazara region. Remember that in the Sawat and Hazara region there are Hazara formation, their age is Precambrian. After that, there are Tanol formation. After Tanol formation, there are, there are the name of the group is Abdabad group. Important feature of the Sawad Hazara region is that there are six tectonics episodes or deformations that we have discussed in detail. And students and viewers, there are uh, another uh, basin which is called Peshawar Basin. And in Peshawar Basin, there are Piggyback Basin. The structure of uh, the Peshawar Basin is like the piggyback and uh, the piggyback is the geological term which is used in the geology or tectonics or structure. Uh, so it is important for uh, geology. According to geologists you know that what is piggyback structure. So in Peshawar Basin there are piggyback basin or the structure of basin is piggyback. In students the another important point is that uh, there are one identification, uh, one important point to identify the tectonic episode is that if you find angular unconformity anywhere, so it is due to the tectonic episode or you can identify it as a tectonic episode. So remember this point, it is very important to identify the tectonic episode anywhere in the world. So if you find angular unconformity, it is the identification of tectonic episode anywhere in the world. So students, it is all about the tectonics of Sawad and Hazara region. I hope you will enjoy all of this information. I humbly request all of my viewers and subscribers, uh, please uh, share this video and if you are new viewers or uh, newcomers, so please subscribe my channel. So you will um, get very, very valuable information about geology and uh, subjects related to geology. And it is the beginning of the channel. so. This course, uh, I will start another course as this course completed. So it is the so uh, geology of Pakistan and it is the second part of the uh, geology of Pakistan course which is tectonics. So viewers, uh, we will meet in the next video and the next lecture. Thank you.